Hi everybody, this is Meet Burrow from NYU. I'm a PhD student at the Center for Data Science there. And today I'm going to be talking about SeekScan, our unsupervised classification model for proteins uh, for a new function discovery. Uh, so the first thing I want to say is that unsupervised learning is very important for biological data. Uh, and uh, this is because the data is often unlabeled and the label sets are generally incomplete and we want to get tools uh, for detecting functional categories of proteins regardless of whether or not they have labels. Uh, so the uh, experiment that I'm going to be describing is uh, three steps. So the first thing is to uh, extract useful information from sequence using a language model uh, trained on 10 million protein sequences from PFAM and then we uh, have a data set of 10 protein families that we actually want to cluster those uh, uh, sequence features into uh, of these 6,000 proteins that compose those 10 protein families. And then we want to evaluate those clusters obtained uh, using NMI, uh, which is a normalized mutual information measure, uh, with respect to the protein family labels. And that uh, will determine the uh, uh, cluster quality. Uh, so the uh, first step of getting the protein uh, features, the protein sequence features, uh, and uh, getting the uh, extracting the language model features of those 10 protein families that we're interested in clustering, uh, we have this TSNE plot where we can see just uh, the good separation generally uh, between uh, the protein families. Uh, it's not perfect, but we can say that a neighbor in this feature space is going to have uh, is going to have a similar, uh, the same uh, protein family most likely. So you, with that assumption, uh, we train this uh, uh, single layer neural network with a softmax output uh, with this loss function uh, using a k nearest neighbors graph on the original feature space. This uh, loss function is described in uh, learning to classify images without labels. Uh, uh, it's a, a paper uh, by Van Gensbecke et al. Um, and so uh, the basic uh, idea here is to make sure that uh, cluster outputs from this neural network between uh, samples that are neighbors in the feature space should be consistent and uh, so uh, it is a clustering algorithm that is maximizing this uh, dot product between uh, cluster outputs on between uh, neighbors in the original feature space. Uh, and so when we train this model using uh, these 10 protein families we see that we get a uh, 0.78 uh, performance uh, in terms of NMI uh, for uh, seek scan uh, and we compare this to a baseline of uh, using PCA on the uh, sequence features that we extract from the language model uh, and using k-means after that instead of using this clustering process in uh, using the scan loss. Uh, so we reach a uh, NMI of 0.61 here uh, but uh, we outperform it using the seek scan uh, model. Uh, and when we take a closer look at this uh, distribution of protein families in all of these cluster assignments, we see that uh, a lot of these clusters actually correspond pretty directly to an entire protein family, uh, which is pretty good and that's uh, what we would like to, to see if we're trying to actually discover uh, a new protein family, we would hope uh, that uh, it's pretty uh, uh, consistent and uh, singled out amongst all the other protein families. So uh, the next step is to actually just get the labels of these protein families uh, onto the cluster assignments. Uh, we do this in order to maximize the accuracy as if it was a uh, protein family prediction uh, supervised method. Uh, so uh, when we uh, do this bipartite matching in order to maximize the accuracy, this maximum accuracy uh, that we get is around point, 
uh, is around 85%. So uh, that's pretty good. And so we wanted to scale this up uh, to a to uh, a training a clustering model on 16 million proteins, and then testing uh, on 1.8 million proteins that we did not uh, let the clustering model see before. Uh, and so we uh, used uh, uh, these two, this uh, PCA and K-means baseline uh, to compare to, and we uh, decently outperform it uh, in uh, both the training and the test NMI, uh, but uh, that's uh, about all I really uh, want to explain. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, please email me at meathborough at nyu.edu or uh, contact me on one of these platforms uh, uh, of the conference. And uh, thanks to my co-authors, and I hope to...